Good morning, Norwex fans. It's Christy Day again. Hey, guess what? We got home from church. My daughter kicked off her little boots, and oh my goodness, the, the smell. So I was talking to my mom, who's my Norwex consultant, Ann Collins, Napa, California, and um, I was telling her about this, and she said, hey, you should just clean those boots out with an EnviroCloth. And I said, wait a second. I should clean out those boots with that new thing that you sent me. It came in my hostess reward gift. Now, I, I, we closed out my show for October because some of the rewards were things that I like. And one of them was these things. Um, they come with all these different little you know, handles that you can insert in different ones. There's one for your dishes. But anyways, this one came with a little, like, basically an Enviro sleeve that fits on there. So I just started to clean out her shoes, and I'm like, ah, i got to make a video and show this. So let me show you what happens. Let me get rid of my face here. So I've got her little boot here, and I just, look, I could just do this one-handed. I could just twist this uh, thing in here like it was a Q-tip or something. To get into the bottom of the shoe, sorry about this, but then, but look, and it just, it just gets right in there. So I'm going to clean this really quick, I'm pause it for you, and then I'll show you what the cloth, you can already smell the stuff coming out, well, or at least getting on my cloth. So I'm going to pause it real quick. So I thought, well, maybe if I press it up against here, you can sort of see it. It's really hard to do one-handed. But anyways, I'm just getting in there and just scrubbing around with this thing. Now watch. Do you see all that dirt that I'm getting off of it? Nasty, huh? I mean, can you see that really well? This is a brand spanking new blue, so the rest of it looked like this. Now it looks like this on the tip, where I was rubbing around the heel. So after I do this real well, so I didn't want to stick these in the washing machine because it has all these sequins in it. Then I take this stuff. Now if you've got kids, you need this. It's Sports Zyme, and it's an enzyme uh, cleaner that eats. Well, you got to turn this little handle thing. It's got like a little tiny clicker right here. Turn it to on. So it has enzymes, Jesus. it's got three settings, and it seems like two of them are off. <laughs> Where is it? For heaven's sakes, hold on. Which one's on? There. Okay. It smells really good, but what it is, is it's an enzyme that eats, it eats skin and sweat, even urine, and other quote-unquote uh, organic materials that basically rot and cause stink. So that's what's causing the stink inside here, is it's all of the, you know, skin and sweat and stuff that gets into those shoes and starts to rot, and that's what causes the stink. So I spray that in there, and that eats up all of the odor-causing particulates. In a minute I will. And then I take these little jobbers that also came in my hostess uh, reward thing and I put them inside. Now these are filled with bamboo charcoal and they're rechargeable so you just stick them in the sun for two hours after they've absorbed all the stink they can and you recharge them and then you stick them back in. But they're designed to go into shoes. See? Well, can't really see too well. No. So those things are awesome. So let me tell you where else I have these because there's a larger version of these that's silver. And this is why I closed out my party that I always have like an ongoing party with my mom because you know you don't have to close them. You can just keep them going until you reach your goal. So um, she said, oh, oh, we ought to close out your party for October because then you can get these things because I have a major stink problem down in the basement because of cats. So let me show you the basement. So I'm walking down here. This is the back door and then we go down here towards the basement where I have three cat boxes. I have three cats, but they're large cat boxes. I read something that said you should have like 1.5 boxes per cat in a multi-cat household and I kind of believe it. So anyways, 
got these cat boxes. These cats fill these things up like in a 24 hour period. It's crazy. And I was not able to keep up with anything. I tried everything. I tried this odor thing. I got in the pet aisle. I switched um, my kitty litter multiple times. I went behind here and mopped everything because they were going behind my stairs and peeing along the backside. It was a nightmare. So I told my mom, oh, I'm having a nightmare challenge with odor. And she said, hey, get these. So I got these. I had one at first, and one didn't do the trick. So um, then I got, you know, I closed out my party and got the other one. And I put another one over there. And that one plus that one. And then she said, hey, also put fridge so fresh down there. So let me find my fridge so fresh. Ah. Here it is, got knocked down by the cats. I put it in between their cat boxes. But this is designed to go in refrigerators to absorb odors. It's just this little crystal thing. And by golly, it works everywhere. Mom said she puts it in her laundry room to absorb musty smells. And why don't I try it down here near these nasty cat boxes? And don't judge us, we just cleaned these cat boxes out yesterday and they are full already. So I'm standing here and I tell you, I have just this faintest, faintest little ammonia smell when I get right up next to it. But when I'm walking upstairs now or walking into the house from the backyard, I no longer get knocked down by a horrific, nasty smell. It smells like, you know, the, um, the cat shelter because that's what it smelled like. It was bad. So anyways... That is all. I've got to go take care of my little one. So if you've got stinks in your house, those are the solutions. Call your Norwex consultant or find one. You can find them online really easily. If you don't have one, check out my mom, Ann Collins, A-N-N-E Collins in Napa, California. She would love to help you.